Leo and welcome to your astro flower reading this is going to be an astro flower uh, for the 18th no it's not it's the 25th through to the first so uh, let's just see what's going on here with you guys here normally I don't let these two cards go here but um, it's done apparently they needed to come out together so if you don't know anything about the astro flower uh, please go down to the description below and you'll find lots of links about the astro flower you learn about the petals and the elements and stuff like that here is your uh, relationship side uh, it's all to do with the emotional side couples relationships in regards to family and friends and that sort of thing um, you have the influence from the universe you have your karmic path, how the guides influence your karmic path, how the guides have the conversation with you in your inner being, and how you combine it all together. And this is for the material side, sort of business, pleasure, and that sort of thing. Okay, so um, let's have a look. Which side should we pick? Both sides are looking really nice for you, actually, uh, Leo. Looking really good. Um, it's uh, interesting to sort of see what you had last week. Last week was a bit of a torrid sort of, uh, beginning by the looks of things it was very guarded I think on emotional sort of front on the relationships and this week here you've definitely got the universe sort of saying as ah, a change of wind change of fortunes this week it is learning to be yourself uh, amongst other people and uh, it's Letting your light shine, letting your heart shine. Last week you had the heart, the ace of uh, cups in this position here, uh, where the wheel of fortune is at the moment. Um, and so it seems to be have it influenced on your karmic path where you had the ten of, ten of swords in this position. So this pathway that this person has had to go up and gradually get to, uh, get to that person sitting there floating in air and shining their inner knowledge or their inner understanding. That's what the hermit's all about. We go within to find ourselves. You should have, this week, you, should, you know, this, uh, this week you should be finding yourself and finding the idea of your position of where you place yourself within, within your relationships around you. The, once you realize this and you allow that light to shine, your guides are going to really start homing in and sort of helping things to move along and uh, introduce a bit of passion into this whole sort of uh, whole sort of karmic path for you and make you really sort of like you know very clear thinking about where you're going uh, on this path uh, definite change around from last week uh, on this sort of relationship side so within your family and friends and stuff like that it's being there but without actually imposing there that's what it seems to be like. Be passionate about the idea that it's good to be, uh, it's good to have connections, it's good to be connected to friends, family, and relationships and stuff like that uh, within the couple and uh, within the whole sort of any relationship you've got. So it's not necessarily sort of uh, feeding that relationship this week, I don't think. It's more of a case of uh, soaking, enjoying it and soaking it up. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if the sun's not out there. Oh, well, you've got the strength card, which is you. Uh, so, And you are the sun, Leo. So, uh, you know, it's pretty much it. It's Your guides are sort of saying, uh, on this sort of, say, sort of saying, you've got this, you can do this, you can deal with this. Obviously, there may have been a situation last week which was a little bit tricky to deal with. Um, if you've dealt with it and you've, the, the end of that cycle's come through you, You've got to be, the wind of change is upon you. So it may not be this week that you feel completely at ease again uh, within your relationships, but it's certainly building that passion within you to uh, have that as, as a situation within your community, your family, your friends, and etc. And that change of fortune, that change of winds is coming in for you at this present time. Okay, so um, it's a case of this week within the relationship, just sit tight and allow yourself to shine. Allow people to come to you. Be strong and sure that you know where you're going. You don't want to go back to what you had before. Okay, um, uh, there you go. So on the uh, material path, such as jobs, uh, relationship, uh, jobs, <laughs> finances, uh, businesses, projects, that sort of thing, really nice things. Uh, the universe is trying to encourage uh 
that sort of group getting it together with people around you and this is also a pleasurable card so it's all to do with pleasure and look at this after that you've got the, the this is what your guides are trying to influence your karmic path right so this is the page of wands she's throwing up this wand yeah look what you got on your karmic path what she just grabbed and she's looking at that one passion so it seems to be like this um, this week here, your karmic mission, as it were, your karmic path this week here is to concentrate on the things that bring you passion. And it will be connected with other people. It will be connected with uh, sort of, uh, you know, uh, clients or, or or working in an environment where you, you come across other people and stuff like that, or within your projects, involving other people within your projects. But it's got to be based on fun. You know, that page of, of Wands is an incredibly joyous, childlike uh, entity that has a really beautiful sensation within them uh, in order to learn and to see how things work and stuff like that. And, you know, you've got that side. You're very sort of clinical when it comes down to it, um, uh, Leo. So allow that, 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 that clinical aspect, that that precision aspect of yourselves to be concentrated on the fun side and the learning of the fun side and just focalizing on one passion at a time okay so you got the six of cups i was just seeing whether you had that last week i don't think you did i think you had it the week before uh it was in the seven of wands that was actually in this position here um okay so as new people come into your life in regards to your business, your projects, this might be new employees that come in or um, it might be an old employee that comes back. Uh, that's the thing. It might be an old client that comes back. It might be an old supplier that comes back. So it allows you to open up a new range within your business. Um, just remember here, and I think this is probably what this is all about. Yeah, this... Uh, this queen here she's looking at that one star or that one light i think it's kind of sort of saying to you you know your guides are sort of saying you know do you remember how it used to be and everything like that do you remember how life used to be um and you might turn around and sort of say yeah there was brilliant moments but concentrating it's almost like a, a temptation in a way sort of like to sort of like test you and your and your passion on one thing so it could be Things that are coming back in from the old way of being or, or, or the things that have been in the past that may not actually serve you. Um, you may be sort of, you know, uh, uh, you know, nostalgic when you look back at it saying, oh, what great days. And then you realize, OK, no, it was actually quite hard as well. So yeah, I'd be very conscious of that. And, and it's all about that learning through you and expressing that and sharing that with the world around you which is what this hermit card is all about and you did have that eight that what that world card within you look at this looking at the world in a different way and that's what that hermit is all about so it comes straight through you here and i think this is as well on the on the physical side so as you do uh, go through this week just try and look at things differently so you've got another angle to look at life at and that could be within your relationships or that could well be within your finances. Whichever way it is, the, the more of an angle you get on things, it's the easier it's going to be with you for you to concentrate on your passions and allow your sort of inner understanding as regards to relationships and family and community and stuff like that to come together. With the King of Swords in the middle, that's quite powerful in the middle of you. So it is that noble aspect the rich of the lion heart, you know, that, sh that will be coming out. And it's having that clear vision through regulation, through rules and regulation uh, within you will help you to succeed this week, to progress it on and start that journey. It seems like it's almost as if like, the wind of change is here. You had the world inside you at the in 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 that sort of thing. You're supposed to last week you had the four of wands up here, so you were supposed to be going through a portal, uh, and there was complications that was blocking you. That's what it was. Those blockages seem to have gone this week, and it seems to be 
that the wind of change is in place. So that this week here, you will get that notion of, I can feel the tides changing. And you can feel yourself being pulled in the direction that you do actually want to go in. Stay true to who you are. Stay strong to it. Okay? Uh, it will depend, upon, obviously, uh, of how much uh, vibration comes from the sun at the moment, which you can see on Cymatic TV, which will probably, looking at what's coming around the corner, which will probably be affecting the air that comes down through you there and the air and fire that comes through you there. Obviously, the fire that runs around you and that air there and the, uh, and the air and fire down at the base of this here will really be, um, be um, tested by the by the vibrations that come through. So you may find sort of real big waves of passions at times. And this is where the strength card will probably be coming into play with the biggest moment, because you do have that crossing uh, water and earth underneath you, so it's as solid as a rock if you want it to be. So there you go, Leah. I hope you did enjoy that reading. Uh, don't forget, there's loads of links in the description below. In the meantime, don't forget, life should be fun, so please do enjoy. <laughs>